Hello everybody, welcome back to Being the Odds. It is Thursday, July 11th, 2024. We are back with our MLB Best Bets of the Day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Zach and welcome to Being the Odds. Um, let's recap yesterday's results. Yesterday, we had a winning day units-wise. Went three and three, but we had a winning day units-wise. Members only, we split it. We had Astros minus one and a half at plus 100. That was a win. Uh, we had Orioles first five minus 0 0.5. That was a loss. We washed that one out. We had the over eight and a half Casey in St. Louis. Didn't matter if it was game one or game two. We did have a game one, but we got a dub there. Brewers minus one at a plus 134. Saved our skin as far as winning goes. Uh, no runs first inning. Toronto and San Francisco was, oh my God, that was so fucking close. If, it, if that ball was hit six, five or six feet right, second base, easy, easy, easy throw out at first, but we couldn't get it done. And the Rangers got smoked by the Angels, which I mean, here and there it's going to happen. It's baseball. But you know what? We'll take the winning days. Even, even if it's a small winning day, it doesn't really matter as long as we're moving in the right direction, which we are units wise. Overall, y'all can see the record. And we have a loaded slate today. We have three plays that we you guys here on YouTube here today. So let's jump into our first play, which will be the over eight and a half in DC and New York. Um, last game it is the last game of the series. They've seen each other a lot. This is like their second series in like 10 days. I mean, they have seen these, they've seen these pitchers over and over and over again. So they had the series on July 4th as well. Peterson and Gore on the mound today, um, for, for both these teams starting and they have very good numbers, but both of these guys, specifically Mackenzie Gore, I've watched him play a lot and Peterson for the Mets are very, very prone to blow ups, especially when like you've seen, like when a team has seen you over and over again. And the relievers have been used a ton in this series because it's been a relatively high scoring series. Yesterday, three or four relievers for each team got used. Um, on top of that, like again, the Nationals and the Mets have seen, seen these relievers, have seen these pitchers over and over and over again. So their first time around against Peterson or first time around against Gore is really the fourth or fifth time around each time. And the Mets offense has improved a ton since the middle, since, since the beginning of June. They have been on a fucking tear. While DC, we've got our young guys coming up. They, they have plenty of time majors, and they look really, really, really good. Um, I love the over eight and a half DC in New York today. The sharp money's heavy on the over as well, so we're rolling with it here. Next, we're going to the over eight and a half Miami and uh, Houston. This is the last game of the series. Very similar to the um, very similar to the Mets and Nationals, but they haven't they've seen each other a lot in this series. Um, the sharp money is heavy on the over as well. Houston lineup is looking better and better and better. They're just getting healthy. And the, the healthier they get, the better they're going to be. Miami has shown that they can score. Not like not last night because they, they scored one run. We don't care because we had, a, we had Houston at minus one and a half. But not last night, but still. Um, they've shown that they can be able to score. And the Houston bullpen is very, very, uh, very, very, what's the word, vulnerable other than Josh Hader. And Munoz and Blas are way below average starters. Blas is like a 4.91 ERA. M Munoz is a 5.48. I'm a big ERA guy when it comes to these sort of things, and they're going to be absolutely smoked today. Well, both bullpens aren't great at all. I mean, Miami's is terrible. Houston's is just below average or just bad, I mean, in all seriousness. Um, but I, the sharp money again today is way on the over today. It's, it's the end of a series. I'm rolling the over eight and a half Miami and Houston. And then what we're going to do is we're going with the Mariners, minus one and a half versus the Angels. Angels came up big one yesterday. This is a letdown city for them, especially when you go against a pitcher like Castillo. Uh, this isn't Matt Lorenz. Matt Lorenz has had a great uh, month and a half, but he hasn't been like, he's not as good as Luis Castillo. And Luis Castillo, if you look at his numbers, 79, 367 ERA. He had a tough start to the season, which really ballooned his ERA. But the fact is, he just hasn't gotten run support in a lot of these games that he's played. He's played incredibly well in them. And Kogonowitz, I don't know how to say his fucking name. Um, I think he's a triple-A pull-up, um, and his first matchup is against a rivalry with uh, the Mariners. And Castillo is way better than um, whatever. The Angels pitcher. The Angels, I can't, I'm not going to say his name. I don't know how to say it. Uh, the, uh, the Angels pitcher here. And Seattle's bullpen is a lot better. Los Angeles is the third worst in the league. They have a 4 5, five team ERA. Mariners have a 3-6 team ERA when it comes to bullpen. And by the way, if they, if they were at 3-3 three, three ERA, they'd be third best in the entire league. So it's like not four, three through like 12 or like – like just just sandwiched together. I mean, there's not much difference between the third best bullpen and the twelfth best bullpen. They're still very very good. Um, and the Seattle offensively, I would take Seattle's lineup against bad pitching more than I would take the Angels bullpen against good pitching. Especially after having an offensive explosion yesterday, I think this is a, I think this is a regression spot for them. And I can get decent odds on the minus one and a half, like minus one eleven. So I'm rolling the Mariners here minus one and a half uh, versus the Angels here today. Now, just so you all know, we do have three other members-only best bets. You can go to the slash picks. The website is linked in the comments below. But, guys, let's go lock in those picks. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. I'll see you all tomorrow. Make sure you all check out our videos.